It started like any other lunar eclipse. As the Earth came between the sun and the moon, the moon turned black, deprived of its source of light. But then it turned red for 62 full minutes, to the delight of stargazers, professionals and amateurs alike. I've never seen something like this. It's also interesting to learn about all of this in one night and see the effect which is so beautiful. <laughs> the super wolf blood moon got its name from being at the point in its orbit when it is closest to Earth, making it appear larger. Wolf moons are full moons in January, and it was red from sunlight refracted by the Earth's atmosphere. A rare spectacle visible in parts of Western Europe in the eastern Pacific, in North Africa, and almost all of North and South America. On average, you can count on seeing a lunar eclipse every two or three years, but uh, this time we've been very lucky because the last one here in Belgium was uh, six months ago. But after this, we'll have to wait for more than 10 years. The next total eclipse that will be seen from the beginning till the end, just like now, will be in 2029. For those who missed this celestial event or who weren't a part of the world where it wasn't visible, partial red lunar eclipses will take place as early as 2021.